Hey guys, welcome to another epic ordeal. You guys might recognize this game as Doom. And this is one of my favorite games of all time. My headphones wire is getting tangled, but this is probably the first game I have ever played. And I played it way long ago, but... This is one of my favorite games, so I'm going to be playing it on Hurt Me Plenty mode. I couldn't hear me talk at all because I'm still I'm wearing the headphones, so this will be a bit laggy for me because I am recording this with Hypercam and not Fraps because I'm too lazy to actually spend money on Fraps, which eventually I will because I'm going to be doing a Doom 3 and 4 and Rage Let's Play, so. Plus, most of this game will be a speed run anyway. I need to turn the volume down because I can't hear it all. I'll probably do that in the next episode. Okay, I'm obviously not going to be hitting him. By the way, I've been playing this game for a long time. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, I was pretty young when I first started playing this. I think about two and a half or three years old. I know a lot of you are probably saying, oh... He was three years old when he played this. How is that possible? I was a smart baby. I could use a computer. Trust me. See if I can't get that. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now go in here. That should drop the elevator. Hooray for me. Grab some crap and also a shotgun. I know almost every single secret in this game, so that's the end of the first level. Now you see, I could do this first level in like 15 or 14 seconds, it's not that hard. Quiet. Yeah, I was modding this game when I was about that age too, so... Full But anyway, this this is the um, skull tag version of the game. I actually found the files for the game on an old, old flash drive that my dad had. No, not flash drive, hard drive. And it had the very first Doom data on it because I knew we owned the game a long time ago. But I couldn't find it. Never figure out how to open that door there. But yes, the skull tag version does allow you to duck, also to jump, and you can type stuff in. So I do still make a lot of um, maps for this game. My school's tech club is also um, probably go. <laughs> Silly Romero, you didn't put the texture in. Yes, I know Romero did the... He made this map, because he was one of the heads of the map editing part of ID Software. And trust me, I, I know a thing or two about ID Software, because I have a book called Masters of Doom, which is pretty much all about them and it's quite an interesting book if you want a good video game book to read then masters of doom is definitely one of them so i might just be explaining a couple of things about them while i'm going through this let's play Okay, this should have opened that door over there. If not, then something else would have. Um, 
Yeah, I didn't. It's gonna get hard to play through this with the lag. But like I was saying, I'm still making map packs. I have a another YouTube channel that I actually posted one of the map packs onto a while ago, but I have made a lot more since then. This ball looks peculiar. And look. See? can hear you, but I can't see you. There you are. He should have been the last one. You still don't want to open. There's a door there that leads to a chainsaw, which I would really like to get right now. Wait. Who shot at me? Hmm. Anyway, continuing through the level. Now, if you happen to play Skull Tag, that'd be awesome if we would have an online match sometime. I usually don't play with a whole lot of mods because a lot of people use mods when they're on Skull Tag and it takes forever to download them, so I never do it. Oh, gosh, darn it. There we go. Go down here, quick second. Oh! This is where I want to be. Sadly, I can't get in there yet. See if I can't. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on that and just finish the level. Can never figure out how to open that. Yeah, there's some secrets in the game that are like really important, but I'll completely forget on how to get to them, so. Ugh. Yeah, let's get going. Oh, sorry. 